Hey, what's up guys? I uh, just wanted to show you this Glock I've had for a while. It's kind of like my beater gun. Uh, most gun collectors have a beater gun. In other words, they don't care if you drop it, it gets scratched. Um, they hide it in this place only they know about. It's just something you can toss around. And my recommendation is if, you, if you're gonna get a beater gun, What's better than a Glock because they're so tough and uh, they just work, work, work. The only times I really seen Glocks mess up is when people start changing the parts and putting aftermarket parts in them. I'm not talking about, um, you know, a trigger or something like that. It's when they start changing the guide rod, springs, stuff like that, because um, they want that super smooth trigger. So, you know, you're w when you do that, it's it's not a Glock anymore. It's not Glock perfection anymore. Now it's a Glock test gun, and you better hope it works all the time. There goes the fucking siren. So this is a this is a Gen two Glock. This Glock's like thirty years old. I got it off a friend of mine, um, and uh, I've had it for a while now, and it runs great. Has all the original parts in it. All the serial numbers match and everything. 30 years old. 30 years old. The finish is all coming off. It's all beat up looking. And it's a Gen 2. Because you could see that Gen 2 doesn't have finger grooves. HSTs, it runs them great. So, I mean, runs modern ammo perfectly. Um, I don't think this is a, this is a modern magazine. This isn't the original mag because it's just not, I could tell it's, it's a newer one, but there's some info. So if you have a, an old gen two, then, uh, the new Glock mags will fit in it perfectly and it, and it runs great. So this Glock has steel. It has the traditional Glock sights, but they're steel. They're not plastic, which I don't know why Glock just don't make them steel. I know they, I know they think people just automatically change them because a lot of people do. Probably seven out of ten people that buy Glocks uh, change the sights and upgrade them. But a lot of the times they upgrade them. It's really not because of the system. It's a good system. The field goal and the dot. That's it's real easy. It's a quick accusation to line it up and it works good. It's because they're plastic and they're a soft plastic. I mean, it ain't like, I don't know, they're not like polymer or super tough plastic, they're just plastic. And that's why uh, people change them, I think, for uh, most of the reason. So I don't know why Glock just don't use their traditional sights and, and, and uh, make them steel. I think people would probably, more people would leave them on the guns, what I'm saying. So, <clears throat> me personally, I have probably like, since I've got it off him, maybe six, seven hundred rounds through it. Cause uh, you know, I would every weekend I would go to work, I would put a box or two of ammo through it every weekend, every weekend, and uh, I've done it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to guess at least that, and it's never jammed. It's super. The barrel, the lands and grooves in the barrel, are like a new barrel. It's super accurate, so there's nothing wrong. It ain't shot out, is what I'm saying. So you gotta figure, if you look at the wear on the gun, and the guy that I bought it off of is a shooter. He shoots, he shoots. He's not a guy that buys a gun and puts it home and just leaves it there for protection. He's a shooter. So be, between all the ammo he put through it, behold, behold, uh, between all the ammo then, uh, that whoever else put through it in 30 years, and it's got the original, 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 everything, everything, all the numbers are the same. And it still runs perfect. Like, never jams, like, runs perfectly, okay? This is what I'm saying. So here you got a gun that's 30 years old that's been used for 30 years, and, and it runs 100%, okay? So, you know, I should call this video Why Glock, but everyone calls their videos Why Glock, you know, I just, just pretty impressed by it. Um, there's, there's not even any chips around the edges or anything. 
but there's a lot of wear on the slide because it's been in and out of a holster a lot. And uh, that siren is really getting on my fucking nerves. It has these proof marks on it that I don't that you don't see on the newer Glocks, and you're not going to be able to see them. It's a real tiny, tiny proof marks. Uh, as I can't even say. There's a proof mark there. There's a proof mark there. There's a proof mark there. Let's see. Yep. They're so small, I'm not even going to bother to try to show you guys on the camera. They're so tiny. You need to, um, a magnifying glass to see it. So, just wanted to show you guys, you know, this is my beater. I don't care what happens to it. I don't care if I drop it. But now, were the springs ever changed? I have no idea. Uh, it's hard to tell. But... You can't tell by looking at them. All I can t all I can say is the springs feel strong. So I'm I'm going to guess. Uh, I'm looking at it now. I don't see any modifications or aftermarket parts in it. No, the original plunger, definitely the original barrel. We know that. Uh, there might this might be a new recoil spring because it feels pretty strong. I'm going to say it is. Uh, if it was the original spring, I would think after 30 years it would it would be feel kind of weak by now because like I said this gun was shot um, looks like from the look of that it looks like there was a connector put in it which I have no problem with that I just don't like when they change springs you're really messing around with the, the reliability when you change springs that's in uh, you know in my experience of messing with guns and tinkering with guns when you change the springs make sure you test that song bitch man make sure you put like you know, three, four hundred rounds before, uh, you know, before you start carrying it. You, you know, there's no reason to change a spring, really. Like I said, unless you want that awesome, smooth light trigger, but this thing runs great. So, just wanted to show you that. I think I've never showed that before. I'm trying to find everything wrong with it. Uh, back here, there's a pin back here. It's, it looks like it's oversized. So what I'm thinking is somebody put one of those uh, beaver tail grips on there and put, didn't put the original pin back. And then they, then they sanded this down to try to fit the gun. But that's, that's, that's not gonna hurt a damn thing. Actually, it's very tight. It's not going anywhere. You see how it sticks out a little bit on each side? So that was replaced. So somebody monkeyed around with it a little bit, but it's pretty much 99.9% .9 original. So there you go. A Glock 19, 30 years old, well shot, and it's still accurate as hell. It runs like a top. Barely has any. I barely oil it. I just take it out. Not now because you can't shoot anywhere, but I used to just bring it to work and just take it out and shoot it because that's the kind of gun it was it was a gun it was an emergency gun that's what it is so i wanted to uh, uh operate it like that i didn't want to oil it first condition it first then go shoot it no i just wanted to pull it out of my bag go in the range and empty a mag and make it see how it would run and if it would jam or hang up or get seized you know anything weird would happen and nothing nothing it ate them up and spit them out so very impressed with this. So there it is, the Gen 2 Glock. I don't have the exact year. My buddy that sold it to me has the exact year. He knows the exact year. I forget what it is, but I know it's 30 years old. If you want to know, you just if you want to know when your gun was made, you just punch the serial number. You have to go to the site, and then you punch the serial number in that site. I don't know what it's called. You have to Google it, and it'll tell you exactly when your gun was made for most manufacturers. So... That's it. Uh, I shipped out some holsters today. Um, I'm pretty much all caught up. So I'm trying to get a Beretta 92X mold. Uh, I'm thinking about, I'm probably gonna get that gun. Uh, I don't have my Beretta anymore and I wanna I want get that Beretta back in my collection. So I think I'm gonna go with the 92X because it has a really slim grip. And um, I seen one in person and handled it from a friend of mine and I really, really liked the way I felt. 
It definitely has a different feel than your typical Beretta 92, definitely. And it comes with three 17 round mags. So we're gonna do a box opening on that. Um, that might have to be a, a Patreon video. I don't know, we'll see. Man, we'll see what happens with that one. So, anyway, the um, holsters are pretty much caught up. And if you guys wanna put orders in now, you won't be waiting long. Like you'll, you'll be getting it within days. So take advantage of it because then when that wave comes again, then you're waiting like, you know, almost a week for your holster. But right now, it's, it's I'm, I'm just caught up on all the orders. So as soon as you put your order in, you're probably gonna get your holster like in the next two days. So that's pretty good. All right, guys, I don't wanna bore you to tears. I'll talk to you soon.